<laughs> Those look so bad. How do you do, folks? Uh, so, uh, I don't have what I need for the bug, but I have cutoff wheels, which means I'm gonna cut the Miata. <laughs> started here because I had to give you guys a little uh, little cliffhanger at the end of the last video so the plant so this is really close to our heads this is kind of intrusive um, so basically we're cutting the cage apart and the end goal is to get this bar either way out here or I found a couple pictures that basically this bar isn't there um, that would be more comfortable don't know what we're doing yet uh, we're going to try and get this uh, A-pillar bar on the outside of the windshield and then carry it way out here and then hopefully have this come out to here. We're going to swing the door bars out. Um, Mina had an awesome suggestion last video. We are going to try. So if, if this uh, A-pillar bar is on the outside of the body and everything is pressed out, um, we should basically be able to tack this cage how it sits weld it, weld all the seams, lift it out of the car, paint it off the car, put it back in the car, and then weld it down to the plates. And then we could just tape off, you know, maybe half an inch or an inch up, weld it, and then just paint the bottom half black. So that's gonna be the plan because this was a huge pain in the butt to paint to get underneath and then tape all this off and blah, 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 blah. So that's the plan. Mina will be here tomorrow. I'm gonna start cutting this thing up. So sad. So sad. Bye-bye, beautiful. Okay, so um, for those of you who'd like to know, sharp saw saw blades do wonderful things. Dull saw saw blades suck. So, it's all off. It actually looks kind of lame. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do, so the plan is to basically build this cage on the outside of the windshield. Okay, bear with me. I'm going to try to explain this quickly and easily. So... We're gonna build, basically build a nice sturdy box right there. Cut this down so this will sit uh, something like that. Like that, we're gonna get that line to follow the windshield. And then this will go back to about there, like such. And then we're gonna have a hoop right here. We're gonna build this up really strong, just box it in all the way down on all the sides. Let's build a little plate and then the hoop will go there, up, over, and then door bars are gonna come off of this. They're gonna pan out and then go up to this. So we're, we're more or less redoing the cage that we had. We're just giving ourselves way more room and it should be arguably safer. I'd like this to be high enough to where we can do a crossbar from this A pillar to that A pillar. <laughs> so what we're gonna end up doing is getting this just barely above the windshield so that we could put a crossbar just right over the top of the windshield. And that should still follow the line and look all right. Um, we're gonna try and use these because I already have them bent and they're gonna be pretty dang close to what we want. Um, we are all 
tight on money right now, so we don't want to uh, spend the extra money on buying more material and paying high. Whoa, whoa hang on. <laughs> so uh, we're all a little tight on money right now. So in efforts to not buy more metal without compromising safety and structure, we're going to see what we can do with those. I'm wondering if we can use uh, the old A-pillar bars as door bars. If that length and that bend is what we need, then that might work. Um, if not, like we also might not need to bend the door bars, depending on how far out we put the A-pillars in the hoop. But ideally, it'd be nice just to have that extra little wiggle room for your knee. Um, so that's all I got for tonight. So I'm going to go home, get some rest, uh, do the work thing, and then come back here tomorrow and see what I can mock up. Okay, so basically, we're going to make this hoop about three to four inches taller than the last one. And that'll be about three to four inches taller than the windshield. So this needs to be... From base to the end of this needs to be 28 and a half. So that's what I'm going to measure now. And then I'm not going to talk and I'm just going to go to town. I'm going to get as much tacked up as I can. And we're going to see how it turns out. Okay, so from the back, that doesn't look too bad. When you look at it from the front, that's absolutely stupid. So um, I did make this four inches taller than the old hoop. So I think I'm gonna take two inches off of this. Um, that should bring it, let's see if I can kind of visualize this for you. So I mean, that should bring it to there-ish. About two inches, something like that. Um, the, the reason why I wanted that taller is just because I want to make sure these are way, way away from our head. So I'm gonna chop some inches off of that and uh, we'll go round two. Side note, this is all tacked. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tack the whole cage just to make sure we can make it work with the metal we have. And once it's all tacked, um, then I'm gonna add the base plates because from there, nothing's really gonna change. Everything is gonna have the same width of metal coming up Unless we build a box that comes up an inch there, then we just take an inch off of that. So I'm not worried about that. So I'm gonna tack basically everything in place, including the door bars, and just make sure we can make this work with the metal we have, then I'm gonna go crazy. So from here, it looks it looks absolutely terrible, but you can kind of see what what we're going for with those A pillars falling on the outside. So I think if we take a couple inches out of those just to bring that height down, um, I think that's gonna work the way I want it to. Uh, door bars, so this curved, this was the old A pillar, and I was like, oh, this might work for a curved door bar. Um, it's way too aggressive and it's not long enough. That would be, <laughs> that would be really stupid. Um, but we have brought uh, these bars. So the reason why we wanted to curve the door bar is to have more room. Well, if you look at where the old hoop was and where that was, that's a good maybe three inches. And then up here is pretty significant where the ranch is at to here. That's probably closer to four or five inches. So 
straight door bar might be very okay and then what we're going to do is run a couple diagonals from the door bar down to here and then meet it there and then back up i'm very visual so i like to just do it and then see and then kind of problem solve from there so that's all this was um but i think these uh i don't know if you can i mean the, the angle of this and the windshield is pretty dang close so i think if we just drop this to where it's like basically flush with the windshield and then we can still angle this bar so it comes up to here and that should give us, so given there are no seats in here, but uh, so I mean that's, okay, so imagine, so we're gonna do really low racing seats. So imagine if I'm like sitting super duper upright, that's still, you know, I mean, that's still pretty good. Um, I don't know. It's way better because before the bar was literally right here. It was to the side of your head. It wasn't even above it. So um, if we can just get the lowest riding seat we can, I think the height on that will be good. Um, and then let's see. The problem before, that bar was right there. So our knee was hitting right here basically. And now we have two out there. So I think that, I think a straight door bar is going to be fine. Um, it's really unfortunate and like, yeah, we probably could have gotten away with just doing smaller seats on the old cage, but this really bugged me. And I think if we get this, this much further up and we have low seats, I think it's just going to be better. So, okay. So next video, basically I'm going to build our platforms because we know this is going to sit on that. So I can box all that and make that a lot stronger. And then we know this is going to have to sit at least there. So I'll build probably probably this whole thing here I'll build. I don't know if I'm gonna go up with it or not, but just make this whole thing nice and strong, box that in. Get Mina down here and see if he likes the idea of this. And then, I mean, really, if we can perfect this and we can get it right next to the window, I mean, that angle's pretty much perfect. I would like it to come down a little more, but since we're just using what we have, I think that, that really couldn't have worked out anymore. Um, so the height, I ended up taking three inches off of that hoop to bring it down, and I think, um, I mean, it's, it's still up there. <laughs> it's hard to visualize because those look so bad, but I think, uh, I think once those are down and then it's all blue, like it was before, I think it's, it's going to look nice. Um, so I just, I kind of want to just get me his opinion. We'll put the seats back in, see how good that clearance actually is on those A pillars. Um, and then go to town. We got to do a uh, crossbar. We got to do down bars. Um, we got to, Put a bar from here down back down to there i think or maybe not i don't know we got to do some reading okay guys um that's all i'm gonna do for now uh, i'm gonna like i said 15 times i mean mina's opinion i'd like your opinions um just on aesthetics and safety and all that i'm gonna do some more reading on uh just kind of like what bars we need and just how to make that uh safer than it was before um this would be a good time to remind you guys i read all the comments i reply to all of the comments like if you guys I mean, we're still a small channel, so if you guys want your opinions to be heard, now's the time because I can see everything and we're not being bombarded with thousands of comments. It's still very manageable. Um, so let me know what you think. Um, I need axles for the bug. I don't I don't really know what the plan is. The, some of you guys were saying, why start another project? I really love the idea of being able to, okay, so right now we don't have axles for the bug. I don't have fuel for the bug. I don't really have anything else for the bug right now. So I was able to just go over there and cut stuff up and just start mocking things up. So it's, it's the plan is to just bounce from project to project, do, you know, knock one section out on that. Like, you know, we'll tack, we'll get the cage like done-ish, but then we're not gonna paint it or fully weld it yet. And then we'll jump back over to the bug, do some stuff. And then hopefully by then I'll have money for the Jeep vet. We can get the, the new heads and head bolts on, and then we can start mocking up piping for the turbos. So the idea is just not to completely do the Miata cart or not completely do the bug. It's just, I wanna give you guys variety. Now, um, the only thing really limiting us is financials. So if we can just bounce back and forth when we don't have money for that, we can do something on that, vice versa. That's, that's the idea at least. So let me know what you guys think. That's a way enough of me talking. Um, we'll see you later.